hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel techno devs with saurabh today i'm going to show you how jupyter notebook configure in emr how we open the jupyter notebook in emr and execute the script so this video is going to be very very important i hope you subscribe my channel and in the end of the video you please like my video and uh, mention the comment how you feel how you like how you feel about my video so just start now without wasting any more time so in emr jupyter notebook so we configure the jupyter hub so jupyter hub is a multi-user server for jupyter notebook it allow multiple user to access jupyter notebooks on a shared server each with their own isolated environment so my friends if we are configure emr cluster i show you i or already configure emr cluster so when I configure the EMR cluster, so there is an option to select Jupyter Hub, right? So there is an option to select Jupyter Hub and Jupyter Enterprise Gateway. So this Jupyter Hub actually get you get advantage to run Jupyter Notebook on this Jupyter Hub, right? And the Jupyter Hub is a multi-user server. For Jupyter Notebook, suppose you have in your uh, project multiple user need to access the Jupyter Notebook, so they can and they all have their isolated environment, right? Like that, there is a second option, Jupyter Enterprise Gateway. Jupyter Enterprise Gateway extend the capability of Jupyter Hub by providing such as cluster cloud-based service. It is often used in enterprise setting where user need to access resource like apache spark or other distributed computer framework in summary jupyter hub is designed for multi-user environment multi-user access to jupyter notebook while jupyter enterprise gateway extend this functionality to connect jupyter notebook to external computing resource so now come to this point so you can see uh, I have already created my cluster but I just show you the configuration so you people can understand. So that's why the Jupyter Enterprise Gateway and Jupyter Hub I think you, you know how this work. And uh, here I selected one core node, one primary node, core node and task node, three node cluster. And this is a EBS root volume and uh, i also selected here vpc default vpc and uh, this is the ideal time if the cluster not run till one hour it automatically terminated and uh, this is the log by default in this directory log will create it and the rest of the things remain same and we need to also choose the key pair here so key pair is used to as create uh, from the primary node you can say master node of the cluster so i already created the cluster so i'm not creating this time so i show you this is my cluster and now i'm just uh, open the jupyter notebook and how we configure and all these things how to check the configuration of jupyter notebook and uh, i will show you in this demo so first i log in into this uh, 9x terminal emr cluster and here i selecting my private key file that is my key pair and going to the session and passing the primary node key and log in here as a hadoop is a default user so i connected my cluster here and i put control l so clear the screen and jupyter enterprise gateway so now in jupyter notebook by default running on the port 9443 so that setting you need to do so if you see right this is the cluster and in this you the ec2 security group this primary node i clicked on the security group and here we need to pass the port 9443 open the port so that traffic allowed from there so you can see right this is line 9443 not 5 sorry so this is the port range line 443 
and I open for my IP. So my IP I selected. So it gives one to to all this. This is my IP. And if you want to allow uh, from anywhere, you can select anywhere also. Otherwise, passing the system IP. So this security group just uh, open the port 9443 for your EMR cluster. Uh, for your primary node, you can say. So now come to the cluster again and 9443 and how to open the this uh, Jupyter notebook so when we see in this cluster uh, there is a DNS name so this primary node rule DNS right so we just need to pass this primary node DNS port 9443 right and just click here so you can see this Jupyter hub has been open if it is give some error so there is an option in your browser advanced setting and you just click on that then this URL will open so I am able to open this URL and uh, this is the Jupyter notebook I open it and it's a default configuration right this port 9443 and all these things I only pass the DNS name colon 9443 now second question is how to write the program in this so we need to open the PySpark so I am writing the PySpark code suppose so that is the PySpark code and uh, one more thing you need to remember if you are logging the first time right if you are logging the very first time so it's you need to pass the username jovian and password is jupyter so th this is the default username and password of jupyter notebook i already open so this time i open again for showing the demo to you so now it would not ask for the username and password but when you open the first time by using the dns name and port 9443 so it would ask for username and password so username you need to enter jovian j o v y a n and password is jupyter that is the default setting so if suppose i need to uh, create any uh, jupyter hub i uh, open it and i just give some name my script uh, so i give my demo script my demo script right and rename it and now i just uh, uh, type some program here i have some code so this is the simple program which i type here from my ppt so i just open spark session and try to read this csv file from my s3 bucket so this product data dot csv file i will show you uh, this product data dot csv file so this csv file i already uploaded into the s3 path and this is the data right product id customer id sale date so now i try to execute it and let's see so it is start the application and it would show the output because i use data dot show so this is the data frame actually which created by reading the file for from s3 bucket and this show method will display the output so it would take some time right Meanwhile, I also show you some configuration. Uh, I think it, it is in progress. Yep. So it's part session available and now it is in progress. So no attribute. So I think I just to remove it and execute again. Yep. So you can see the output, right? And now my job runs successfully and there is an option in the left most right save so i just click on save right and when you come to the home page of jupyter notebook you can see my demo script dot ipynb right this is the name i have given to this script 
and uh, this is still showing running so after completing this you can close this kernel so how we can close the kernel so when you go to the tab kernel there is a option of shut down so when we shut down so it, it this this will close right currently it's showing in the running state so suppose if i want to yeah if your job is hang so you can restart your kernel also there is a certain option right but anyhow currently i just want to shut down the kernel so i just do shut down the kernel now the status has been changed right this job showing running now it closed and you can see here right now second part is uh, this is the way to create the script and run the script in the this uh, jupyter notebook so if we want to check the script in my primary node how can we check so so that if i close this jupyter notebook and if i want to check in my server then how can i do it so there is a some location uh, yep so this is the script location actually mnt where lib jupyter home i just show you the path right this is the path might be in your system it might be different path so this is the path yep so you can see right if i do this thing you can see the folder jovian is the folder and inside the jovian there is a uh, three kind of file oh, it's a mistake yeah yeah so you can see uh, just wait yeah so you can see this my script my demo script dot ipynb see all these three script you can able to see in this primary node and the path is mnt slash where lib jupyter home jovian so jovian right inside this you can see the all the script you want to print then you can print also cat uh, and what's your script name uh, my demo yep so see this is the if you print this script so it show the all the format in the json so see this is the source script and this is the data output right so all the information printed and we can see this ipynb file which is basically extension of the jupyter notebook file right and we can see in primary node also right so i think you get right and if you want to again create some more file so you just new my spy spark and give the name my demo to right and my demo script to and rename it and again you paste some code i have certain code i just paste you again this code right just copy from this ppt and paste here so this is the simple code by which we just uh, this is a uh, uh, date list of the certain value and the column name is name and age and we are creating the data frame by passing this list data and columns and uh, df dot show method to show the data let's see what it would give so this is the second example which i am running in the jupyter notebook it would take some time so one more thing you need to understand uh, there is a certain configuration of this jupyter notebook so if you want to see the jupyter notebook configuration so the path is etc jupyter conf right etc jupyter conf so i show you the path and the control l so yep 
you can see right in this jupyter conf there is a certain file jupyter config.py so if you come here wait uh, yep. if you come in this path right and ls you can see jupyter config.py so just print this file so this is the actually configuration file right in this configuration file you can see the port number right the port number 9443 so this is the same port which we are open this jupyter notebook passing the uh, emr dns name colon 9443 so these settings already predefined in this uh, jupyter config dot py file inside this path right you can see port number you can see the admin username jovian which i show you earlier in the ppt this is the no name admin username so all the setting predefined in this jupyter hub config dot py file and that file created by emr cluster itself we don't need to do anything right so i think uh, you guys understand this right and uh, now come to this yeah so div job also uh, completed successfully and you can see the output name age right and this file also created in in this server also right so and uh, you can see here this file name these are the file which i created in jupyter notebook if i want to shut down this this is currently running right this job is currently in a running stage if i want to shut down so i just kernel and shut down shut down and now it would be closed so i hope you guys understand how to you know manage jupyter notebook in the emr how to see the configuration file how to create the pyspark code and uh, all the port setting all this thing so i think you like the video if you like the video then please comment on the video and subscribe my channel thank you have a nice day